Located on the island of Halmahera in Indonesia is a spectacular volcano that has been continuously erupting for more than 20 years. As one of the world's most active volcanoes, the Dukono Volcanic Complex provides a fascinating display of the Earth's power, frequently ejecting ash and bombs of lava beyond its central crater rim. Yet, the eruption as shown in this footage represents only moderate activity. In contrast, Dukono's largest and most destructive eruption occurred in 1550. Before the 1550 eruption began, the presumably extinct Mamoya volcano was one of several islands in close proximity to one another just offshore of Halmahera Island as shown in this and the following before and after diagrams drawn over Google Earth imagery. However, during Dukono's voluminous flank eruption in 1550, lava flows would travel up to 12.5 kilometers distant, during which the flow forked in two directions. By the time the 1550 eruption had ended, not only had a wide area received ashfall, but the Maimoya volcano lost its status of an island as lava flows connected it with Halmahera Island. Located east of the island of Sulawesi and west of the island of New Guinea is the unusually shaped island of Halmahera. On this island, the Dukono volcano is one of two volcanoes to be actively erupting at the present, and it's centered 14 kilometers west-southwest of the city of Tobelo. Tobelo used to be known as Tolo, but the city was moved and renamed after the Dukono volcano largely destroyed it. Like the other volcanoes on the island of Halmahera, the Dukono volcano exists due to a tectonic plate collision occurring to the west of the island. There, the Maluka Sea Plate is subducting underneath the Eurasian Plate. The melted material from this collision then migrates upwards until it occasionally erupts onto the surface, forming a chain of volcanoes. Looking at the Dukono stratovolcano, you might notice that its central vent does not rise very far above the surrounding landscape, at least when compared to other regional volcanoes. This suggests that the currently active crater of Dukono, which is erupting right now, may have begun forming as little as an estimated 3,000 years ago, but we are unsure. However, this central crater is not the only notable feature, as in addition to the basalt to dacite composition lava flows which coat the region, there are at least three other craters in addition to a grouping of presumably dacite lava domes. One of these craters measures 610 meters or 2,000 feet wide and likely represents a vent that was once the site of a powerful explosive eruption due to the interaction of magma with water, known as a mar. However, Dukono also has a larger 1.61 km wide structure which could be a large crater, small caldera, or collapsed scar remnant. Whichever is the case, it suggests the Dukono has produced far larger explosive eruptions than witnessed since 1550. In 1933, another large lava flow originated from Dukono's summit which would go on to follow a similar path to the northeast to the 1550 eruption, but instead of forking in two, it bent to the left destroying many structures. During the last 20 years, Dukono has continued to produce fairly frequent Vulcanian to Strombolian explosions which eject ash and bombs of lava, often throwing them beyond its crater rim. As a final note, as of the writing of this video on January 23rd of 2023, the Dukono volcano has a 2 km exclusion zone extending from the center of its currently erupting central crater. This radius could increase or decrease depending on the nature of eruptive activity at Dukono, so if you decide to visit this volcano, check with the authorities first on what the current official exclusion zone distance is, and use common sense as even slightly outside this radius could be somewhat hazardous. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank Stuart Morse for becoming a new channel member on YouTube of Geology Hub.